Hello and welcome back to the Hay Meadow. My name is Hayley and this is my channel where we are currently counting down to Christmas with the Advent Calendar Extravaganza and today it is day 15. What have I been up to today? It is the evening. It is currently holy cow it's almost eight o'clock geez gonna be a late one anyway um i've had a busy day an unexpected busy day actually i had an unplanned catch up with my lovely sewing friend from work stacy uh both of us have actually changed jobs recently so we thought we would have a catch up before christmas and talk all things sewing for four hours we literally sat and just talked non-stop for four hours and it was fabulous. It was great. We both really enjoyed it. So, hi Stacey. <laughs> I said I'd give her a shout out. Um, so, we have four calendars to get through. We'll start those off and then I'm going to show you what else I bought while I was out today. It's not very exciting, but it will be for some. So, first off, we have our wonderful Kylie and the Machine advent calendar where we are counting backwards which always makes me struggle and we are on day 10. Oh my goodness we're almost at single digits. Here, oh here we go. Oh and day 10 is a little pupa, a little fluffy white pupa. How cute. Oh so what do we got? Oh. <laughs> I like these ones. I like all of them. What am I saying? I like these ones. I like all of them. Oh, these are double sided. So ooh, just one moment. Back. These are double sided. So on one side, they say woohoo. And on the other, they say hooray. I think these might have to go into Lincoln's clothes because he does a wonderful hooray. So, thank you very much, Kylie. Put those in the tin. They're really cute. I like those. Okay, the tin is very full. Very full. Next up is the Beyond the Pink Door. So Andrea at Beyond the Pink Door. And what I have to show you later, I think Andrea is going to like. So 15, we are back on the straight and narrow. We've overcome the challenge. And when I say we, you know, I'm bringing you guys with me as a support capacity because we all know that it was definitely me. Um, we're back on the straight and narrow and counting correctly with no missed missteps. And here we have number 15. Oops, which is in a lovely orange packet with white dots and oh Santa must be almost here because the sleigh is being pulled across the sky I hope he's heading to my house let's see what we've been blessed with today oh, oh. <clears throat> she's done it again and the thing is, if I had opened number 14 correctly, we would have gone oh, to go with yesterday's. We have some self-covered buttons. How good is that? I guess I've got another opportunity to practice. That's wonderful. And these are 15 mil ones. That's great. Thank you very much, Andrea. Hmm, what am I going to use those on? Okay. Next we have Wattle Hill Fabrics. Bit of noise in the background there. So Susie from Wattle Hill Fabrics, what have you got in store for me today? There is what I think there's, oh no, there's two, two. Two of the little Hessian bags left. So I'm gonna go for one of those. Oh, goodness me, it's all, it's all happening. <coughs> so we have a little hessian bag very cute with a little star ornament and i'm going to pop that on my poinsettia plant which is what i did with the others there we go very festive 
Okay, what do we have in here? Ooh, oh lovely. Some black Gutterman thread. So always black is always handy. And that's a sew all I would imagine. Yep, polyester, so that's wonderful. Nice and good for the thread stash, that one. Thank you very much. And finally, we have the Dahlia Societies box. And we are on day three. Why am I doing this to myself? Why on earth? <laughs> Almost, oh, yeah, there's only two that are counting the same number. <coughs> Goodness me. Note for next year, don't make things even more difficult than they need to be. Seven, ten, five, eight, chocolate. Ooh, thank you, chocolate Santa. Three, here we go. And it's a little square one, looks like a little bonbon. Okay, what does number three hold for us? Oh, very good. So we've got a more lip balm. Wonder what flavour that is. Let's have a look. Oh, that looks very flash. Very nice. Oh, I can actually smell that. Oh, that smells good. Mmm, that's nice. Mmm. That's very good. <laughs> I may not leave that in there. <laughs> you know how sometimes you do something and you think, oh my God, did I do that in public? Okay, wonderful gifts in today's calendars. Thank you very much, ladies. Much appreciated. How on earth am I going to choose next year? Because I think four might be a stretch. We've seen how chaotic it has been this year. Anyway, now, I, t I said that I'd popped out and caught up with uh, my friend Stacy today and we talked sewing, we talked all sorts of things. Um, Stacy does, uh, most of her sewing is for her two children. She has two little children. Um, so she does lovely spinny dresses for her daughter um, and little outfits for her son. Absolutely beautiful. She also is a dab hand at bag making. So this year for um, a gift for her teachers, her children's teachers, she made water bottle holders. They are fantastic. They got little, um, the zippers that she's chosen go with the fabric that she's chosen. She's insulated them with um, thermalite as well to keep things either hot or cold. Um, so, and she showed me photos of them and they are fantastic. They really are. So the water bottle goes in, then there's a little pocket um, on the outside, on the front of the outside with the little zips. She's even attached a little sunscreen on the outside on a key tag um, to make sure that the teachers are all set for um, summer. Wonderful. And I bet they absolutely love them. Could you imagine being a teacher? And having a gift like that and then knowing that it's been handmade specifically for you. Wow. She's setting herself a very high bar. So after Stacey and I parted ways and um, wished each other a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, I went off to the shops to grab a couple of things before heading home. Now, two of the things that I grabbed will be of interest to a number of people who probably watch. Um, and that would be these two lovely babies. Look at those. So on the uh, this side, we have Pavlova, which is, I think, what was it called? Summer Berry. 
summer berry and then this side is mint chocolate which yum yum i love mint chocolate now why am i showing you these well for one family members or friends of mine who are watching um will be going why on earth is she buying that because it's going to take her years to drink that and they possibly could be right um however earlier this year um when andrea from beyond the pink door um, was talking about her pina colada baileys i just just had the massive amount of um fomo so i was out hunting for it now i quickly discovered that um we didn't have pina colada here in australia anymore um so it may have been something that was brought out last season or something um but we did have um chocolate lux um which i did get a bottle of and have almost finished almost finished um it was months ago that i bought that anyway <laughs> um but yes so it's i guess being a i'm not even a social drinker i'm a really poor excuse for an australian again um when it comes to the whole drinking culture that we apparently have um not necessarily true so i thought with christmas and new year coming up it might be nice to um, have something to sip and celebrate with um so i thought yeah why not i went online and had a look to see what we had currently um and i saw both of those and thought oh okay that, that might be nice um i also saw an espresso one um so i was hoping that i might stumble across that but no luck in that one just yet but um yeah look at me i'm growing up to become an adult who sips alcoholic beverages on occasion who am i even so while i was out leisurely sipping coffee with my friend Stacy and talking all things sewing Chris was here packing so he has taken down a number of things packed a number of things um, and really taken the bull by the horns so I would say so by the time he goes back to work on boxing day I think we will probably be down to the bare minimum um, and be living out of a suitcase and you know enough for me to enough cutlery crockery for me to get by um, because once he gets back then we will be moving so it's very exciting um, everything is now done for the completion and we are just waiting for settlement day so thanks for all your comments yesterday uh, about finding my engagement ring i cannot tell you how relieved i was when we found it <sighs> anyway there were uh, there was a comment asking to see it and um, you probably won't be surprised because you've all may have noticed it before um, because I know that I've probably worn it in vlogs now normally when I get home from work the first thing I do is take off all my jewelry um, and put it away uh, and then get on with whatever it is I'm doing um, however I know that there have been some times where I've come straight home because I've had a package arrive and I just can't wait to open it um, that I have been wearing it so um, for those of you who are interested um, I did design this myself with the help of my sister so this is all bespoke and um, handmade um, and oh, I guess I'll just show it So I'll take it off in a minute so so I have really big hands so it is quite big so it's actually a purple sapphire I don't know how clear that'll come out a purple sapphire um, surrounded with a diamond halo with two matching baguette 
um, diamonds beside it um, and then if I just do this you'll be able to see the detail of the I don't know if they call it a clasp or whatever it's called um, that it sits in I know that Rianne watches these so I'm sure she'll be yelling at me saying oh that's a terrible way to display that um, but well, this is not sale of the century so there we go so yes so <clears throat> there it is <laughs> Um, so yes, so you can imagine how relieved I was um, to, to find it at the foot of the bed. That moment of panic though, I think sometimes probably we need that <laughs> just to wake us back up and bring us back into be careful with your things, look after them properly. Um, I should maybe... Maybe on Sunday I'll show you another ring that I've designed. Um, yeah, I'll do that on Sunday. Um, yeah, but anyway, <clears throat> I think that's basically it for today. So tomorrow is Friday. Um, I'm not leaving the house. I'm going to continue on with the sorting and the packing and the decluttering. Um yeah life is very exciting this room will start to be taken apart very soon um yeah maybe at some stage it'll just be me under a bare bulb on sitting on a crate or something <laughs> anyway that is it for day 15 and um i look forward to seeing you tomorrow for day 16 of Vlogmas Australian edition. Um, until then, 